G'day and welcome back to the Autodata Training Workshop. Got another tech tip for you today on charging systems. With the amount of electronics in late model vehicles, they work on a process of inputs, processing and outputs. So wrong message in, wrong message out. So if you've got a problem, any strange electrical gremlins in the vehicle or the battery not holding its charge, it might be worthwhile to do an AC leakage test. So you should start off with performing a health check on the charging system. We know how important it is to check the belt tension, the charge rate, and for any voltage drop, etc. But today I'm going to show you how to do an AC leakage test. With our alternator, we have diodes there, but every now and again we get some of them leak a little bit of AC past, and it causes all sorts of problems. So I'll show you how to do that. I've got my multimeter here set up on my negative battery terminal down and the positive lead on the output of the alternator. So I'm just going to set it up to AC volts. Turn it up there. AC. I'm also going to put it into manual mode by pressing the range button. I'll just start the engine up. I had no AC leakage there. They say about 0 0.5 of a volt AC is the maximum, but I've seen some late model cars can react to anything over 0.2 of a volt AC. Of course you can do this with an oscilloscope, but a multimeter is also good. But if you're doing it with a multimeter, make sure you've got a true RMS meter because we're measuring AC volts. So that's a nice quick test. Don't have to do it very often, but if you've got any strange electrical gremlins, battery not holding its charge, worthwhile to do an AC leakage test, nice and quick. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, or if you'd like access to our full auto data training library, why not get a subscription today? I'm Haddo, thanks for watching.